Hey everybody, so I wasn't able to complete the video in two hours, pretty close. I've got seven, oh, it's playing with the green screen, there we go, seven hours and 41 seconds over time so far, um, so pretty close, but uh, uh, no cigar, right, as they say, close, but no cigar, so enjoy the rest of the video, I just had to get that confession out there. Hello everybody, today uh, in this challenge we're going to make a notebook using LibreOffice. Alright, so first of all I need to go to page style and I'm going to adjust my page area and it, change it from portrait to landscape. Drop my margins down to 0.25 on all sides and then I'm going to insert a table and I'm going to change the table properties as well. And first of all, I'm going to remove all the padding. Then I'm going to leave the color, uh, leave the, um, I'm going to change the uh, um, uh, width to very thin and go ahead and remove the side borders. Oh, and there we go. Leaving only the top and actually we'll leave the, uh, the top, middle and bottom uh, um, horizontal lines. Very good. Now, once we're, oh, and then I forgot, I also need to go to my columns and adjust the second co column, make it 0.5, and then the third column, set it to 5, and that will automatically adjust the first one. All right, now we'll go ahead and add, let's uh, go to, let's go to insert, and let's insert rows, and let's start with something like uh, 45, 45. Okay, so that bled over a little bit onto the second page. We'll go ahead and delete these selected rows. Now we're inside, and it looks like I'll need to reconfigure the, uh, the lines because I only want the horizontal lines to show because that's what you would write your notes on. So let's go to Table Properties, and we're going to adjust the borders, and we're going to make them all blank to start with. Okay, once we have that, we then select one side what will be our our paper go to table properties and set oh turn off the middle one set the top middle and bottom lines very good and it looks like we'll need to adjust that padding as well it automatically will set padding for us even though i wanted it off excellent so now we do the same for this side table properties good padding is where it needs to be uh, drop the padding back down to zero and set these three lines to be showing. Now we have only the top and, or the uh, left pane and the right pane showing. The middle section where the fold will occur is going to be left blank. Okay, And then once we have this table, we then uh, select outside the table, set the point font to two, two point font. Then we press control A, select the entire table, and then click outside the table on that little two-point font area and press Control v to paste the, the second page because this is going to be a double-sided paper. Set the point font, and now we have... Oh, and... Oh, it looks like we... Looks like we'll need to get rid of one of our... one of our rows. So go ahead and delete that row. And there we go. So that is, that's the paper right there. So now I'm going to export this as a PDF. And once you have exported it as a PDF, then go ahead and print six copies. All right, so once you've made the paper and you've printed it off, let's go ahead and uh, um, run through the steps for actually turning this into a booklet. All right, so. Let me skip past here. There we go. 18 seconds in. Setting the exposure. All right. So you take the paper and you fold it in half. Let's see if I can speed this up. Can I uh, playback speed? Playback. Let's see if we can speed it up. There we go. Faster. So 1.5 speed. There we go. All right. So once you've taken your paper, you fold it in half and you do this with all the sheets. So just making sure that they're all stacked up. As you see, I've already folded one of them. And let's skip through a little bit. So there we go. Folding each one of them. Fold each of them in half. 
and then put them back together in the booklet form, like so. All right, as you see, good. And then you take an all and you make a mark. Now, if you're gonna be doing multiple versions of this booklet, in other words, you're going to be doing multiple, I think they're called quartos, uh, then you'll need to be very precise in where you place those holes because they all have to line up on the back of the book. If you're just doing one like this, a one-off, you don't have to worry about precision. Just do uh, one, it's about uh, about a half inch, I'd say a, a, a half inch spacing. You'll see this here pretty soon. I think I zoom in here. Let's see, is it going to do it for us? I think I zoom in here. There we go. So you can see, hold on me. All right, so you see the holes right there? That's about a half inch different, uh, uh, a half inch spacing between the holes. And uh, ready for stitching. All right, so we'll skip. There we go. Like so. Then you take thread and you do six of these, you, you do six lengths, six uh, paper lengths. You then cut it, and then you fold that, or you you, uh, you um, turn that paper that uh, thread in half, okay, and then you take your ball of wax, a true ball of wax, and you uh, wax the thread, and that will make it a lot easier to work with. So there we go. So you just run it through, you have your thumb and you press into the wax and then you run the thread through that. Once you have your, wa your um, waxed thread, you thread your needle and you can use a tapestry needle for this. Tie your knot, double knot, there we go. And then you, you see here in the video I am making the holes just a little bit bigger. There we go. Yep, just making them just a little bit easier to get the, uh, uh, the needle through. There we go. You can see that's the back side. Let me pull it through there. There we go, zooming in. So that's the back side of the paper, and you can see that I can easily get the needle through that. I then thread through. And we'll watch this whole process, because this one, you push it through, and then you wrap it around once. So you don't just do an over, under, over, under. You thread, there we go. Now it's in focus. So you thread the needle through, and then you wrap it again, around again. And this allows it to bind onto the paper and bind all the leaves together. And there we go. And then you simply tie it off. I think we almost, yeah, we got about a minute left. And you simply tie off the knot, and there you have your, there you have your finished booklet. And then on this booklet, you can write notes. So you can see this is what it looks like when it's finished. So this is the finished booklet. I think the video will probably end just about here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Yep. So video ended there. And uh, yeah, so that's how you make a booklet for taking notes in. Uh, what's uh, what's fun about that is that you can then take multiple versions of this booklet, five or six of them, and um, sew them together. And now you have a complete book. So just a fun project. Uh, and this has been day 13 of Make a Video in Two Hour Challenge. I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.